what's up people here with my uh, my very old Stratocaster I've been playing with this thing ever since I've, I've been like uh, 14 or 15 years old it, anywhere I go it goes with me uh, the, pr the problem is is that because it's an old you know style of guitar uh, for the down tuning it can become kind of tricky so uh, somewhere in the end 90s I upgraded my strings to uh, to bigger strings and the only strings that were like hard enough because when when you're down tuning, your strings kind of get soft, and you know anyone who speed picks knows that you want your string to be there when you're picking, right? So, uh, so I had to switch to the Dario strings. I w I went from uh, from uh, 0.9 to, to 0.11 here, uh, 0.15 here, and 0.20, 11, 15, 20 is playing because I like in Cryptopsy to have the third uh, string playing because it gives a an annoying clank to it. You know, it's kind of a part of the cryptopsy tradition and I stayed with the standard uh, 36, 46 and 56 for uh, Daddario and I've been using these strings for ever since Whisper Supremacy and I've tried others and sadly uh, there's something about the hardness of the strings that makes it cryptopsy and I have to stick with like with these strings and I have been for many years so you guys, you guys should try them out because uh, especially if, if you're down tuning and you need like a, a string that's kind of harder because sometimes the same 56 from, from another brand will be softer, will, will be slinkier as we need harder so well, that's pretty much it, that's how I pretty much evolved to having those sizes. Cool and how did you come up with like some of the, you got amazing tones and stuff, is it just uh, from the years of doing it and... Pretty much yeah, I, I mean uh, I, I kind of relearned playing guitar when I got my uh, rectifier because I was always used to using like little metal zones you know where you would make mistakes and they would kind of get washed out and when I got to a very toneful amp uh, I kind of relearned how to attack my guitar to to make it wail a bit more have it uh, have the head work for you uh, it's a great head but if you want to get the tone you want out of it you have to you have to give her what she wants uh, to have the, the, the distortion that you that you want so so that's pretty much how I got to those tones, I just kind of relearned to playing, going from like the Marshall amps to the Mesa Boogie amps, and uh, been playing with this amp for like, like well, I, I, I did stop playing for a couple of years, but I, I've had this head for like uh, 12 years now, so. Any guitar player that uh, that listens to Cryptopsy will notice that uh, on the next album, it's going to be kind of kick-ass, because uh, with, with Chris Donaldson on guitar, he's probably the, he, he, not probably, he is the best guitar player I've ever played with and the best other guitar players I've had in Cryptopsy since the beginning. So I mean, for every guitarist you will hear some very interesting stuff. I'm more the old school type of solos as he's more of the tap master. So there's going to be a lot of different colors and I really hope you enjoy it.